beloved soul. Well, I'm Melina, the encoding shamanic peacemaker. All right, so um, today Spirit has come to me and wanted me to talk a lot about what's um, coming in. I feel like, well, for the next year and uh, and ongoing and it has been happening for a while but um, a lot of energy fields um, that have been hidden uh, in this world in the earth have been slowly opening up and are now actually ready to because of well the heightened consciousness of light workers to um, well being used even more um, and uh, spirit wants me to channel a little bit more about what this is all about what is it that we're going through and why and how can we actually grab onto it and learn from it what are we supposed to learn from this all right uh, as you know, some of you, uh, when I channel, I might nod my head a lot or I might, my mouth can look weird and, and I do this or get itchy or sneeze. <laughs> All right. So um, that's just uh, why my face gets funny. <laughs> All right. So um, Spirit wants me to start off with this. Uh, there we go. <sighs> Whispers of healing. I just love it. I love, love, love this beautiful uh, book and cards, okay? So they're made by Angela Hartfield, all right? And of course, the artwork is Josephine Wall. So um, the cards look like this. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, so, well, <laughs> props to those beautiful woman who create these beautiful cards. I have no idea what we're going to talk about, so I'll just uh, start shuffling the cards and we'll get to it. All right? Oops. Oops. Two cards just fell out. Progress and self-love. Okay, I want to take progress. Um, and then we'll see about self-love. <laughs> not that that's not important. <laughs> I just feel more attracted to this one. Okay, progress. Card number 36. Hmm. Yeah, this card is just telling us that this is a progress, that we are evolving. Um, like I just said, our state of consciousness has heightened. Our frequencies are actually heightened and uh, vibrationally we are, um, well, getting closer to our own higher selves, each of us. And that means our higher self is, well, um, the part of our soul that is connected to the other side um, where we all come from, right? Um where our energies belong. Um, on that other side, we have this huge soup of energies where we all connect, right? And, um, well, to heighten the energy of our galaxy and other galaxies and the entire universe, we uh, come to this world uh, to, well, learn. And we're going to school here, right? So um, every single human being that we get connected to are people that are supposed to teach us something. And um, our higher selves actually meet up on the other side of the veil and um, plan well um, how to, um, I feel like, um, cooperate here on earth um, even though uh, or either if it's uh, a discussion we have the next day or if it's love we find or if if it's uh, well um, compassion we give toward each other um, 
but there are these soul groups uh, where we are connected and um, I'm just getting these soul groups in and some of them, well, you don't feel very connected to. Uh, very often that's your families, <laughs> but, uh, and you can ask yourself, why did I ever choose to be in this family? I just don't feel home here. <laughs> or, um, oh, I hate my brother, I hate my someone, you know, <laughs> whatever. Um, so, um, but that's how this is all um, a collaboration in progress. It's all the time it's in progress. It sort of is never ending, <laughs> right? And, um, and it's an upgoing spiral, right? Um, and when we don't learn, uh the first time around then we uh will try again right <laughs> uh until we learn and then we go up it's uh very difficult to um try to communicate the ways of the universe um which are actually not um well language cannot provide the mystery of the universe so well i'm trying and spirit is trying to um help me communicate as far as the language goes right because that language has to do with uh being human it's very 3d all right uh, and spirit is in 5d and even further right um, so that's what we're doing right now we're actually leaving planes <laughs> um, from being um, a lot about knowing what's going on in our bodies what's going on in our minds and uh, and what type of personality we are um okay and our just present reality right um knowing those things have been final until now but now our consciousness is starting to open even further i'm getting towards understanding well the energies that are connected to your relationships the energy that is connected to you your energy to yourself um, and what's going on inside of you and inside of your energetic system um, and how you then connect and synchronize with other people Okay, next card, Spirit Day. <sighs> okay, we awaken. <clears throat> Yeah. In so many cases, or just overall, we have been sleeping for a long time, right? Um, not really being able to connect to um, who we really are, to our true sense of our DNA. Um, we actually only can have been able to or are able to connect with uh, like a single percent of our DNA, which is huge, right? Um, and very multidimensional. Our DNA is multidimensional, all right? And that means all those things that feel odd to us, 
like, wow, did you just have that same thought I had? Or did you just say what I was thinking? <laughs> um, weird. Or, um, wow, I, I never thought I, I would uh, meet you today, but I thought about you two days ago. And you meet an old friend suddenly, and you thought about them a few days ago. And then there they are. That's odd. That's weird, right? That is, well, what happens within uh, being multidimensional. You are the center um, of many different dimensions, right? And you don't only connect through your body and your mind and your current reality, your personality. You connect energetically to everything, to everyone within yourself and your own body system cells connect to that we which we called uh, through the innate uh, of your body system um, and the innate is well mm, the energy that listens to you when you tell yourself, I'm always sick, I'm always tired, oh, uh, I'm always, my mother had breast cancer and I think I might also get it. I hope I won't get it. Well, that's the innate is what sort of connects <laughs> your thoughts to your body and to your cells energies, right? Your innate is the captain <laughs> of, um, which way, in which direction you steer. Um, and that's why people talk a lot about staying positive, speaking with kind and beautiful and grateful words to your body. Um, okay. But this is... Um, Well, these are tools that are coming in right now, okay? And they have always been there, I want to say. And uh, some of us have been learning about them for years and years and or have actually come into this world knowing them, okay? Um, but now, well, everybody gets to play with these tools, okay? And uh, to connect more to their energetical self here on earth okay all right so um and that's what it, it means to reawaken okay it takes practice but it's doable and now they're saying it's even more doable it's actually possible okay uh, give back all right so this is the card that sort of fell out into my hand this is card number six <laughs> yeah okay take a look at this it's very beautiful I'm getting the word compassion I definitely am getting the word compassion and um, so what I'm getting here is right now it's up until now it's been about surviving right and um, having uh, multiple sclerosis uh, when I had that diagnosis, I've had it for years and years, right? Since I was nine, I, I felt it for the first time really bad. Um, actually, after I had a vaccine, a travel vaccine. We don't talk about that here in my YouTube channel, but I've felt it since then and I've had it since then, right? 
and um, and once uh, I got the diagnosis, I went into survival mode. I was like doing everything possible to figure out how to heal from this, how to and which person I had to talk to. I wrote, I feel like 30 doctors all over the world I didn't know. <laughs> and um, they, actually some of them answered me. <laughs> Uh, I was desperate, right? Uh, and once um, I tried a lot of things uh, and actually used myself um, with experimental natural medicines and stuff like that, right? Um, I discovered that being in that mode of survival was not helping me at all, okay? Um, and uh, so Spirit wants me to talk about this as an example for what I'm supposed to say. Um, because when you are trying to survive, it's because there is a war inside of you, right? And some people call themselves um, the peaceful warrior and stuff like that. All these spiritual person thing. It's like the spiritual warrior, but there is no peace in war, okay? So that's, <laughs> that's why I ha what I have learned throughout these years, all right? You cannot find peace in war. It's not doable. You have to stop trying to survive. Do you understand what I'm saying? You have to get compassionate toward yourself and toward others and toward the universe and toward your guides and angels and your higher self that is actually trying to help you connect to the right people here uh, on earth, all right? Uh, and this card signifies uh, that we meet each other through synchronicity. And, um, and that's how we give back to each other. Giving back is not um, a duty, like in religion. It's, it comes from here. It comes from here. When you give back, it's when you listen. When you listen to... your intuition and I feel like now we have to talk about intuition perhaps a card will help I'm not sure I'm not sure or maybe I should just talk about it <laughs> okay um, because that is the most important thing I feel like we are having to learn right now yeah we had answers within you guys it just popped up just love this there we go with the multi-dimensionality and the um, the synchronicity, right? The cards show themselves the moment I've, well, spirit has chosen that I have to talk about them. It's just as simple as that, right? Uh, answers within. And how do you listen to that intuition? That is what we're learning, especially, uh, well, this year, uh, more and more people are actually recognizing that what's being said, perhaps it's not really true. Perhaps hmm, we have to think about it one more time. And perhaps we have to change our mind about what we thought was right. Okay. And how do we go there? How do we go there when we're being pushed um, toward wanting to know a truth that is not really well uh, seeable to us or um, clear yet to us because something else is blocking it our mind and our what we have been taught right um, so how do we go there and especially because some things in this world right now seem like we have to really just take another a deeper look at this 
feeling, this experience I have within that mm, I'm not really sure right now about what I think, what I feel. Something is telling me something. Mm -hmm. <sighs> that I should look deeper into it. Then the intuition is being activated. Okay? My God, they make me itch. <laughs> All right. So coming out of the survival mode that we have been in, well, so many years back, um, thousands of years, it's like, well, um, now we are changing uh, to the mode of learning about our to intuitive self, right? And um, you cannot read about it. You cannot learn about it in school. You cannot um, collect information about it. No, you have to go within and uh, start listening. Just start listening. Listening to the things that make you feel inspired, right? Make you feel inspired. And you can use your intuition to, well, listen to it, or you can, well, send, well, messages out and, <laughs> and saying, uh, right now, this is uh, what I want. And it goes back and forth, I feel like I want to say. Okay. But to do that, you have to also learn about uh, what we call the pure intent, right? Because we have all, many of us have learned a lot about the law of attraction, right? Uh, if I want that person in my life, or if I want that thing in my life, if I want to do that with my job, whatever, I have to really just send out, this is what I want, and I have to um, really trust and believe <laughs> that uh, I will get it, right? Um, but that takes work <laughs> and it takes being at the right moment at the right time within, all right? And to get there, there are processes to, to, to get to that goal, right? Um, and uh, it's really hard for many people to actually uh, control their thoughts uh, and their feelings about things and their visions. Um, without jumping back into, well, doubt and uh, fear or, um, my God, it's so annoying, spirit. <laughs> I'm not allergic or anything. They just do it. It's so annoying. Uh, make me itch my nose. I, I'm not even, I don't even have a cold. <laughs> Well, what is the pure intent? An intention towards doing something, something that you want, you know that feeling, right? Because you know what, what it feels like once it happens just after, okay? Something that you really wanted, something that you really um, had, had been wishing for, uh, suddenly it comes into your life. And you're like, where the hell did that come from? <laughs> but it came from the lack of doubt within you and uh, the releasing of, well, trying to control it, okay? And, um, and sometimes we have to just get to a point where you've been wishing for it so many times that you're like, I'm done. Uh, I can't do this shit anymore. I just, I'm going to let go. <laughs> um, 
and and then will that wish comes out in a more pure way because suddenly you are not there to manage it you're not there to control it you're free you freed it right the doubt is gone the fear is gone So Spirit is wanting me to say, uh, you just trust that this happens all the time. It happens, uh, you, you know, every th single time you uh, say to yourself, I'm going to walk to the bathroom and brush my teeth. Then you do it. It's very simple that way. But you trust and you know that this is going to happen because you do it every single morning or evening. And so it's actually pretty easy <laughs> to do it. Um, so you're going to have to start trusting the synchronicities that happen and manifest in your life. And trust your higher self. Trust that your higher self has a beautiful plan with you and your life and you actually do agree with your higher self and the way they help you learn <laughs> in this life that you have this time around on earth, right? Start trusting you, start loving you that way. Start loving your higher self and, and and listening because your higher self is whispering in your ears your guys are whispering you in your ears all the time right they did it to me when I once 15 years ago when I met my husband I'm not with him anymore but I was for 15 years and um, I was in a I was on a travel with a lot of my friends and I um, actually I just came out of a broken relationship and uh, I was so done with men. I was like, Ugh, I'm over it. And actually I sat down and wrote on a piece of paper and I, I wrote, I don't want uh, to date anyone <laughs> uh, unless they... Um, uh, treat me like this and then I started writing and writing a page up and page down I folded the paper put it in my drawer and I just let it go I let it go two weeks later I was invited to this journey and it's just travel to friends actually and uh, I was I looked upon all the men there and I thought to myself oh my god I'm so happy that that there is no one here I feel attracted to. I can't do this right now. I'm so done. <laughs> and um, one day I was at the pool, right? And, uh, and spirit came to me and it was like they were shouting in my head. You have to go for a walk on the beach today with one of the guys here. And it was like an order in my ear. They, it was like a, they were shouting. And I was so, I looked like everywhere and there was only my friend, someone I've known for years. And I, I, so I was like stuttering saying uh, to him, do you want to go uh, for a walk on, uh, on the beach? <laughs> and he was like, ah, not right now, <laughs> he said. And I, I thought to myself, well, I didn't even want that either. I just, I was so happy actually. He said no. <laughs> and uh, only three minutes later or, or something like that, well, my ex-husband came to the pool. And I hadn't been speaking a lot to him at all um, because we were a few people. And then we started talking. And he seemed nice and suddenly, well, the thought came in again. This is the one you have to go for a walk with at the beach. 
and I was like, shit, I don't know him. <laughs> how, how do I ask him? <laughs> so I sort of really pulled myself together because I felt like I had to. I just had to do this. I felt so inspired and my intuition was shouting to me, do this right now, right? And so I asked him a little mm, embarrassed if he wanted to just go for a walk on the beach. And he was like, yeah, yeah, I want to. Let's go. He had the same inspired intuition, all right? Um, so, and of course, when we went to the beach, you know, well, the sky opened and God was there. All the angels were present. <laughs> okay. So, um, and that's what happens um, when you learn how to listen. And uh, I've been doing that my entire life. <laughs> I've been shamed by people, many people, for, uh, well, doing what I felt was right to do. Um, it takes courage sometimes. Um, to say, no, I'm, I'm going left. No, you should go right, people are saying. No, no, I, I feel like I want to go left. Well, well, right is the right way. And will people say because they really truly believe it. And you know that something in here is saying, no, I have to go left. I'm being guided to go left. And yeah, I got a divorce a few years ago, but... Whilst I was there in that long marriage of 15 years, it was meant to be. You know what I mean? It was meant to be. I had to stay there. I had to learn there. Okay? So, um, but listen to the pure intent and understand that it just comes naturally when you open up to the omnipresence that is you, that is within you, right? Your connection to all that you are, not only flesh and blood and mind and personality, but all that you are, the entire energy that you are. Understanding that your energy is connected to everything. And you can actually get everything. You have the power to do and create and initiate everything with your energy because it is already connected to that everything right so we don't sit around thinking oh, i really want to manifest this i want to manifest this and then just after saying to yourself but i can't because i haven't been able to up until now and this and that will and happened and that person didn't do what and blah blah you have to, well, shut that off and start believing. I can create anything. I can create anything. And I just have to listen one moment at, at a time. You know, when someone invites you to a party and you're like, Ugh, I don't know if I want to go. I don't know if I really do connect with those people and... And then you say, yeah, thank you so much for the invitation. <laughs> you got to learn to say no. In all sorts of different ways uh, that you stop yourself um, before following your intuition or your heart and whatever what you could call it right i call it intuition because it comes from above <laughs> but it still is connected to your heart right um, 
And don't get clever about it, right? Don't be that type of person that is like, uh, I just have to think about it. Mm. Oh, I feel like it's no. <laughs> no, no, no. Just integrate it. Integrate it within yourself and know how to say no or yes uh, right away, okay? Uh, make it a part of you. Being uh, authentic that way, okay? So I feel like that was it. <laughs> this one stuck to the table. Breathe. Yeah. Breathe your way through it. Don't try to push it. Just, it's, it's opening your senses toward your own higher self. It's not difficult. It's, it's always coming. It's right there within you, okay? All you have to do is just take a few breaths and um, let it come. Don't try to control your thoughts about it. Just let it come in, that recognition about, well, um, the answers that you're seeking. Um, and you don't make up the answers. You get them. You get them. All you have to do is sense and listen. Okay? And it's easier if you just take a breath and uh, be patient. All right? So I think this was what I had for you today, you guys. Um, the toolbox is opening and uh, we are getting ready to um, interact with each other um, energetically more and more. And isn't that great? <laughs> isn't that fun? <laughs> so, um, yeah, allow um, bumps along the way, allow, um, well, people to go through these teachings. Everybody's in school right now, okay? Nobody's graduated. <laughs> All right? So, um, so have that patience, have that con compassion toward one another, okay? So, well, that was what I had for you today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And, um, well, <laughs> I want to say take care, all right? You're doing such a good job already. And, um, well, we're all in this together, right? Bye-bye. See you next time.